Breaking news. Step down for me. I am older than you. Rotimi Amechi tells Governor Yahaya Bello. Amechi has forgotten that Yahaya Bello told Nigerians he wants to be, he has a dream just like uh, Ashiwaja met Bola Tinubu. And that dream, my brothers, my sisters, they want to be the youngest Nigerian president. I mean, for now until maybe a younger person in near future becomes that. Roti Miyamechi has uh, called on Yahaya Bello. He said, well, guy, why you not join my camp now? Eh, pull down your structure, join me, so that uh, I will have a buoyancy and more people to vote for me during this very sad, you know, um, uh, delegates that will be deciding who becomes APC flag bearer. So, I mean, there are a lot of things ongoing there. Welcome to Nigeria, by the way. Yeah, you know, uh, elections are in full swings and all kinds of promises and words have been made out there. You see, all kinds of promises and words have been made out there. <laughs> um, uh, Amechi himself wants to become Nigerian president. He resigned from Minister of Transportation, but indeed, Indeed, again, this man never do anything particularly, you know, substantial for Nigeria. Even as we they talk, the trend when he say he succeed, when before for be one of the good things, the people still day weird and day. Unless God help, let's get all the details. 2023 presidency step down for me i am older than you wrote to me amiji tells governor yahaya bello the immediate past minister of transportation chief wrote to me amiji and a presidential aspirant under the all progressive congress apc has begged governor yahaya bello of kogi state to step down for him and to support him as they go forward to the primaries Amechi, who made the appeal on Friday night while seeking Kogi delegates' vote ahead of APC presidential primaries, called on all delegates to prevail on the governor, Yahaya Bello, to step down his ambition for, his elderly, for an elderly person like him, saying he's older and he's more experienced. He has served both as a governor and a minister and ready to take on the leadership role and set the nation in right path. The former governor of River State and his entourage, which include the former chief of army staff, General Taco Barati, said though Bello was qualified to contest for the presidency, but he's still young and should make way for him to become the flag bearer of the party. This is the 28th state I will be visiting. I can no longer be called one of APC aspirants because I have become the leading aspirant, he has said. I was speaker at the age of 34, governor at the age of 42, and a minister in my early 50s. I have qualified, I am acquainted with the needed experience to lead Nigeria. I was a former chairman of speakers forum, two term chairman of governorship forum, coupled with my interactions with President Muhammad Buhari, presidential DG campaign, I have what it takes to govern a country like ours, he has said. However, the Deputy Governor of Kogi State Chief, Edwin Onoje, who received him and his reaction said that the Kogi delegates were unanimously in their decision to back the state governor, Halaji Yahaya Bello, in his bid to become the next president. Onoje responded to Amechi by saying, I'm sure you are aware that our energy and vibrate, vibr our energetic and vib vibrant governor is contesting for the same position as you. We Kogi delegates have resolved to give our support 100% to him so he can replicate what he's been doing in Kogi all across the country. But again, Yahaya Bello is very hopeful. My dear, why you not go there hopeful? Everybody won't become president. Everybody they look forward, say, well, I will be the one to take over the reins of leadership. Don't forget that there was a viral audio allegedly, allegedly because it was not proven. Yeah, but again, anything could be duct tape and all that. But I mean, there was a viral video to the suggestion of the fact that the Amechi, former Minister of Transportation, does not even believe in the change of the country. 
Yeah, no. What did he do? The, the viral uh, audio was that he was saying, I beg, nothing of it work for that country, Nigeria. We just, they do the team, we just don't make, we get to the position. You know, things like that. And, you know, a lot of Nigerians was like, Amichi, like, seriously? You don't even believe that this nation can be saved? And yet you want to become the president of what country, what you don't believe in, you know, so things like that has been ongoing and everybody, you know, is looking forward to that time where Nigeria can truly be saved and be transformed because um, we, we, we are in that crossroad again to make, to take that decision that could potentially, you know, change this country and change us you know, and, and either steer us in the right direction, take us right into a dish or keep us at a static point. So it, it's one of, it's one of, it, 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 it was one of them really, you know, Yahaya Bello, one of the youngest governors in Nigeria state. I want to put it out there and let's get feedbacks, please. We will really sincerely appreciate your feedback. If you are from Kogi or you live in that metropolis, what's, I mean, surrounding that area, can you please let us know some of those things Yahaya Bello has done and why we should be supporting him? By the way, disclaimer, it's not a, a, a campaigning grant or any such thing. The truth of the matter is we don't only, uh, you know, uh, intimate you with wrong things going on in the country. No, we also emphasize on good things that have been done and we allowed it. Okay, we allowed it. Why is that happening? Because the truth of the matter remains. If Yahaya Bello truly wants to be the president of the nation, he had good eight years. By next year, to be eight years for him, okay, to have proven himself. What did he do? Or what is he doing in Kogi State that should give Nigerians the confidence to say, you know what, we back you up. Again and again, we're going to support you all the way through. We're not going to leave you because what you did is worthy of emulation and we want you to replicate such all across the country. What I know about Yahaya Bello, one thing that happened sometime last year or two years ago during the COVID, they made a little bridge, a state bridge, okay, one of the areas. And guess what? Before how many vehicles could pass through the bridge, the bridge and a tipper that was carrying gravel sinked, went down, just came down. Just imagine that. So that's a bridge, a state bridge, not a federal road. So could it be that they've used substantial materials? Could it be that, you get what I'm, do you see where we're coming from? Because uh, let's call a spade a spade. We must be honest and determined. If we want anything called change, we cannot continue on the path where we are and expect that things will miraculously turn. We must, we must, we must look at what, are, what is our antecedent? Where are we today? Where are we, where are we headed? This perspective must be clearly stated before we can forge ahead. We must know where we're coming from. We must know what we want. Leave us a comment. Bye for now.